Hi everyone, I am Mrs. Madrid and I will be your facilitator and professor throughout this online course. This is Introduction to General Organic and Biochemistry. So just a little bit about me, I live in the state of Georgia. I am married with three little kids and my background is in chemistry, biochemistry, and uh, more specifically organic chemistry. So this is a course I'm really excited about. I've taught collegiate chemistry for about seven years, I believe. This is I'm going into my eighth year doing that, but previously I was in California and moved to the state of Georgia last year. So I'm also a part of teaching at a classical Christian school um, here, and I'm just excited about this new opportunity. So I'm, I'm new to Grand Canyon University, so I'm kind of learning things as you do as well. So I wanted to give a video kind of walking you through some of Halo. Some of you are probably more proficient in Halo than I am, but I'm also gonna add in some tips and advice into how uh, to do this course successfully and to come out a better learner, a better student, and have a deeper appreciation of God's world. So let's start with where to find everything. So you can see on, on the left-hand side, there's, there's a toolbar, and it'll kind of connect you to the major links for this course. So uh, at the very top, before we even get to the toolbar, at the very top there are two buttons. One is my classes, the other one's messages. So this is where you'll click if you want to direct message me. This is the primary way of communicating with me. This is what I'll check essentially every day except for Sundays. So if you want to get in contact with me, that's the best way to do that. And I'm hoping and assuming that everyone's going to contact me at some point. I want you to feel free to ask me questions, obviously about the course, but really about anything. If you have courses or if you have questions related to topics in the course or even tangentially related in terms of uh, the world and creation and biology and physics and things like that, feel free to message me, theology even, philosophy. I love talking about those things with students and I love talking about them through what I believe is the truth, the Christian worldview, and how that aligns with scripture and, and what God's word says. So please message me at any time about virtually anything. I am here to be with you along in that journey. Okay, so how how do you prepare to do the best in this course? Well, obviously, you need to know how to utilize Halo. And so at the very top on the left is the button for the calendar. So if you click on that, I think this is really nice because it lays out all of your assignments for that week, what needs to be completed. And you can see when they're posted and when they're due by the how far they stretch. So for instance, this very first assignment is due on Monday. So first day of class, by the end of the day, you need to submit this. Let's just click on it and see what it is. So it's a summary of current course content knowledge. Notice that that it has a complete description. It has uh, when the start date is, it has when the due date, and then if you've submitted it, it will say, it will show that down here. And these are the questions that you are answering in that response. So anytime you click on any of these links, it will tell you the, uh, the specifics. This is a discussion question, so you would click on this link right here to go to the discussion, and you could reply that way, reply to other students' interactions as well. Then beyond that, do on Wednesdays class introductions, then topic one, discussion question one, and all throughout the rest of the week. Now, what this does not show is what you need to read for during the week in order to complete all of these assignments, either read or maybe videos that you need to watch. That's not included here. This is what this includes, what the calendar view includes, is just what needs to be completed and turned in during the week. And it will show you things like if it has been graded, if it's been submitted, etc. Okay, after that is announcements. Now, I will have announcements at least once a week, probably two to three times a week, because I want to be continuously checking in with you and updating you about this course. This course is only seven weeks. So there's really not a lot of time to fall behind. So that's why I want to be interacting with you and make sure that you're up to date on any changes 
or just anything to be aware of in any course that you take, there's some details that even if you're the most dedicated student, there's some details that you could overlook. So make sure to see the announcements. There will be like an acknowledgement button that you can press. I think it's a thumbs up. So you can press that to say, I've read this. I see that you posted it. And that just lets me know that students are seeing what I have written. Okay, next is the syllabus. This is really important because there's a button at the top that you can download the text of the syllabus that's not really shown anywhere else on this page. Okay, so the details that are included, whatever is included in the syllabus, the details for those things are below. So as I'm scrolling, the topics, the class materials, all of that, but it, the actual written text of the syllabus is right there. So you'll want to download that like I have in my announcement announcements the first week of class in order for you to know what to be prepared for and what the expectations are for the course. There's also my contact information outside of Halo, so that's my email address, but the best way to contact me is through the messages tab. Um, underneath that, there are class resources, so if you click on this, notice the first thing that is shown is the textbook. So things like the textbook, how to get to mastering chemistry, which is where you're going to be doing a lot of your chemistry homework, the pivot interactives. So virtually all the resources for this course are embedded under this tab. Then we go to topics. So the course is split up, like I've said already, in seven weeks, and that's seven topics. So the first topic covers all the first week of class, and it'll also tell you what the maximum points are for that, for that week. In addition, it shows you the date, the range of dates that apply to topic one. Now, if you submit anything late, you can still submit those assignments after this date, but there will be a deduction of 10% per day that it is late. Okay, after that, let's see if there's anything else. Okay, this, here's the course grade scale, which everyone is interested in. Something that you wanna be aware of is that there is absolutely no rounding at Grand Canyon University. So if you are to earn an 89.99%, you have earned a B plus. You have not earned an A minus. So there is not going to be any rounding up per se. So be aware of that going into the course. All right. Also, I've highlighted this in the in the first announcement, but notice down here, this is the participation expectations in the class. So number of required substantive posts each day, two. So you need two substantive posts per day three days per week. So not every day, but at least three days. So two substantive posts. That can be a response to someone and interacting with what they have said on a discussion question. It can also be an additional post on a discussion question. If you are responding to a, if you if you are submitting an answer to a discussion question, just as the assignment, that doesn't uh, that doesn't um, count as participation. There has to be an additional interaction for it to count as participation. So remember that when you are looking at whether or not you fulfilled that requirement. Okay, under that is gradebook, so you can click on that to see anything that's been submitted. And then you also can click on any assignments from the gradebook tab and look at my feedback. Now, I shouldn't just say you can, you should. You should look at all the feedback that I give for any assignment because really, we are trying to grow in this process. You get feedback so that you can take that feedback and apply it to your, your future work because you're developing as a student, you're developing as a person. You should never take a course that in, in which you get no type of feedback to help you grow because that means you probably shouldn't even be taking the course because you're perfect and no one's coming into this course perfect. Even if I was taking the course, I would still receive feedback from an instructor because I have ways that I need to grow and develop as well. So feedback is not just going to be con uh, ne negative. There will be a lot of positive, constructive 
feedback that tells you this is what you're doing really well. And you want to know those strengths so that you can really capitalize on them. Underneath that is discussion forums. So all of the discussion forums are already up. I don't know really from the student view if you can see those, but you'll definitely be able to see them week by week. So you can click on those individually if you want to go to that section. Underneath that, class questions. So if you would like to ask a question, maybe not directly to me, but maybe to the entire class, or maybe you'd like to involve me, but not just me, you want the class and me involved, you can post or you can respond to class questions in under this tab. Underneath this, class resources. This is another place that you can access things like the textbook and anything to do with mastering chemistry, pivot interactives. Uh, there's also a tab for the periodic table of elements, which you will use throughout the entire course. This is a math tab, so I believe it's a video. If you click on this, this will help you to prepare for any math computations throughout this course. And then last is Lopes Write. So this is this gives guidance about any written assignments because written assignments will be submitted on Halo and they will automatically go through Lopes Write in which Lopes Write assesses basically the authenticity of the writing, how closely it aligns to any other writing that's been submitted, um, etc. So it's a way to kind of to filter through anything that could have plagiarism in it, anything that could be copied, etc. Okay, so there's information about Lopes right there. That's only for me. Then down here at the bottom is all of our topics. So if you click on topic one, remember that's like week one. Now this is what I find to be really important. So there is an overview. Yes, you probably see that immediately. But then underneath that is assessments. This is on the left hand side. Assessments are essentially your assignments. So these are the assignments or what is due through the week. Even if it says zero points, which some things do for the first week, they are still required. They are still required for you to complete everything in the course. On the right hand side will be resources for that week and it will specifically tell you what to read. So don't overlook the right hand side. Remember to read the right hand side so that you can see what you need to read or what you may need to watch. There are also videos here in order to be successful in the course. Okay, underneath that there are tabs for library. There are tabs for student success center learning support, there's classroom policies. So if you want to know specifics about how many days late can I submit something, those can be accessed here. I am not changing any policies for this course. I am going uh, along with the standard GCU policies, but if there are any other specifics, if you get sick and you know that you're going to turn something in late, of course contact me. Be in contact with me. That's your, um, that's the most advantageous thing for you to do is to be in contact with me. Lastly, what I want to say, just from my perspective, what advice or what kind of words of wisdom would I want to give you? I want to remind you that you want to do everything excellently as if you're working unto the Lord, work unto the Lord. So don't try to please me. Don't even try to please people around you. Work as if you just want to honor God with your mind, with your body, with everything that you do in this course. Be excited to learn about God's world. Know that you're not going to know everything and no one knows everything. So don't procrastinate in that process. In the process, really be someone that is proactive, looks ahead. Some homework may take you several days. So please do not wait until the last day to do it because you probably won't do it to the best of your ability. Get good sleep, which means don't be falling asleep at 2 a.m. every day and waking up at 5. So go to sleep when you can, as early as you can, eat healthy food, drink lots of water, do things that nourish and are good for you and for your body so that you can do the best you can possibly do. Okay, that's it for now. I hope to talk to you very soon. Have a wonderful start to the course.